Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This is Miles and Luigi's so last episode. We got the blue boots of awesomeness, the super boots. Unfortunately, on the field, they don't look blue, but here, they look blue. And they are, well, awesome. They increase Mario's jumping attack power by one, and they also give him another ability. And with my attack of X badge, I am doing lots of damage right now. No kidding. Basically, it almost obsoletes your hammer entirely, except for nasty enemies with spikes on their heads or some other hazard on top of them that I can't jump on them. But we can also do this! There we go. Now, at this point, I could save the punies, but I'd rather take care of a little bit biz of business down in this tree before I take them on. I'm gonna go ahead and just knock out this x knot with my new ability. Watch this. Yeah, he didn't stand a chance. Okay. In this little deep... I don't know if I should call it damp, but a definitely deep area of the tree. Whoa, fudge! Aimbot! Kill the yucks, aimbot! Traps. Away, I say! Let me go... Whack more bush in the tree. Oh! Coin! Coin! Need coin. I haven't quite done an analysis on the number of coins I've needed, but I've known from the beginning I will need lots and lots and lots of coins. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of coins to buy badges and all that good stuff. Now this room you'll see this big pile of water. You think, well, we're in a tree. It makes sense that we're down deep in the tree and that there's water. This is probably nice, good, nutritious, safe water. Let's go take a jump in it. Oh wait, fudge, there's still that thing in there. So instead, actually, is there anything down here first before I drain the water? No. No, there isn't. Okay. We'll just go up instead then. And you see the switch, you're thinking, well, there isn't anything else in the room, so I will go ahead and hit the switch. But watch what the switch does. The switch does what you don't want it to do, as it lowers another switch. And what you gotta do is you gotta hit that switch, be able to shoot Koops out, and then the switch come back up, and then watch Koops drown in the water, but then teleport next to me. Yeah, we'll just drain that water. It had no significance up there anyway. You know, and then you see all the Fintale Cleans, and I'm like, why in the world would the x knots keep a water reserve one floor higher? Ooh, Shrink Stomp. What was the purpose? And it is a dial. Mmm, yeah. And there is one other thing down here, although... Eh, I'll go get it since I've already gone down here anyway. The Stein Sprite! Which you actually have to jump out and almost in the water for. Alright, so now we got to go and save the punies, because I now need them. Off we go, blast off. So what's the best way out of a jail cell? Digging out of it, or in our case, doing that. Yes, we can get out here. Now it was pointing out to me that the star piece that I thought was, was, was in this room was right there, pretty simple. Now, the punies just seeing this one method of escape, um, are still scared to fall down there. Now, it is quite a large height for the punies, but they are very light creatures, so the impact I can't imagine being that great. I actually want to put this orb back in here, so they all clump around here and try to blow them all down in at once. The only problem is, as you can see, they get stuck kind of by the side of the hole as if intelligent systems decide to place that hole right there just to peeve you off because all the punies aren't going down the hole and then you just have to futz around with it some more and then of course you get more obnoxious punies that aren't going down the freaking hole and you gotta do it again not blow that way and then they finally make it all down the hole and you go thank god I've got all the punies looking finally oh yeah you can tell I don't like trying to blow punies in holes okay and hopefully none of them get lost on me Okay, good. Oh, great. Get back here. Get back here. I'm not that far away. And guess what? We gotta do it again. This one's not as bad, at least I find. Oh. I guess that may have helped. 
more of an attempt to go in this hole than the last one. As you can see, just the ones on the other side are still there. Of course, that one decided, ooh, I'll be smart, and I'll run around the hole. Yes, orb, orb, no! Alright, moving on. On the bright side, however, despite the fact that they show an incredible lack of intelligence usually, they do know how to walk across all these lily paths. So that's pretty nice. Going on this pipe, and we will see pretty soon our ultimate destination here. The 101 puny switch security mechanism! Bam! <laughs> you need a lot of people to be able to un unlock this security lock. It's as if the punies have exactly 102 members in the group. Not including the elder. The elder isn't coming with us. Well, I guess 102 including the elder, 101 not including. Wow, if a puny died, we'd be screwed. Well, anyway, here's a save block and a healing block. Hmm. Well, I know it's a little short, but... Now nah, I'll do the next segment. What the heck? What the heck? And we enter the Great Chamber of the Punies. Now before I do anything, um, just to prepare for the next boss, I am going to go ahead and take that off and put a good old charge badge on. Ah, uh, what a good badge setup. But yes, after that last security mechanism, we're going to do it again! Turn the key twice, and the Great Hall of the Punies now is able to reward us. And they were unaware of these great security mechanisms? I guess so. At least they're very simple. All the punians stand on the platform, and I give you the crystal star in the basket. No ladder needed. Oh, how nice. Alright. Let's go get it. Oh, fudge! I didn't think that guy was in here. Stupid jerk. Lord Crump. So, fun time's coming up. Oh no! Lord Crump has set off a time bomb! Will Mario be able to chase Lord Crump and get back the Crystal Star? Will he be able to save the Great Tree from exploding into smithereens? Find out on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This is Miles Luigi.